This video is a walkthrough on how to assemble your armillary sphere. Uh, you probably are technically minded or else you wouldn't be interested in this and you probably would figure it out on your own, but maybe I can save you a couple of headaches. So before you go and try to mount the armillary sphere in its meridian ring, which will mount inside of the stand eventually, like so, you want to make sure that your armillary sphere itself comes together without a hitch or else you'll find it very hard to assemble inside of the meridian ring. Uh, just some of the terms I'll be using here, you probably would want to know these as I go. This band here, this is called the plane of the ecliptic or the ecliptic band, the big one. And then we have this ring up here, there's this is one of the Arctic rings, Arctic and Antarctic, interchangeable uh, before it's assembled. Uh, this ring here is a tropic ring, Tropic of Cancer in the north, Tropic of Capricorn in the south. This, of course, is the equator. Uh, and these bands that run up and down what would be longitudinal lines, uh, two of them are the celestial cloatures, and the other two are the equinoctial cloatures. They're identical until you assemble the, the sphere. Uh, so since mine came together without a hitch, uh, I'm going to take it apart so that we can show how it goes together inside of the meridian ring. So these pieces just pop off. And when you finally put it together for real, you'll want to glue it. Uh, I bought a mess load of cyanoacrylate glue from the dollar store and plan to use that when I finally get it fully assembled. So each of these cloture rings come out of the axis devices. And there's all our parts we want to have ready to go. You probably want to sand yours down and make them a lot prettier than I have these here. So take a brief break here while I set up the next step. Okay, so here we have the, the base with the horizon ring and the meridian ring. And I'm just going to use the base to hold it in place while I assemble it and film. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is put on the axes. axes. And one went skidding across the floor. All right, so... You want to face the rounded side out. And I can mount it sideways for ease here. And then I'm going to want to start putting on the rings that are going to go around the cloture rings or else I won't be able to get them on later. So we need an arctic ring around the base to be followed by a tropic ring. And I'll need an arctic ring up here, which knocked off my axis. And a tropic ring up there too. Make sure they're facing inward so that they're facing the right direction. Once you start putting your cloture rings in, things are going to go to heck real quick. And I'm going to need my equatorial ring somewhere in the middle. <laughs> yeah, you can see why I'm doing a tutorial. This is tricky. And my ecliptic band. And you want to make sure that the Roman numbers are pointing towards your relative up. It's a lot to get in here. <laughs> Good times. Okay, so that's more or less got everything in there. And now I can start putting in the cloture bands that will hold it together. So these have to go inside of all of the 
other rings. Make sure you don't snake one outside. And I'm going to rotate this guy around. And once you get a couple cloatures in there, it'll hold everything on more in place, and then you won't have to worry about the rings falling off the axis up north. But it is not a simple thing at first. Everybody wants to get in your way. Just kind of got to slide them out of the way. Okay, so I've got my first two cloture bands in. I'll make sure they're seated really well. You can take it out now. You can kind of see what we're dealing with. I think I'll start moving some of the other bands into place before I go back and do the other two cloture bands. Maybe I can do this better without the base here. So, the big old ecliptic band should be outside of everything else. So I've got to kind of rotate things around. It's quite a puzzle here. Okay, finally things are showing up in the right order. Okay, so I'm going to put on my arctic band up here. And you can see it kind of just snaps into place and wants to stay there. If you've dry fitted it outside the cage. And it's going to hold that in place. And I'm going to put my arctic band down here. And that'll help hold these two first two cloatures in place also. And if it's not snapping into place, it probably means your cloatures aren't fully seated in the axis. Okay, doing better, doing better. Okay, and then I can rotate the tropic around and the equator around. And this first tropic is going to go on the band there and on the other band there. And the other tropic and the other tropic. And you can see that my Arctic band popped off. Were I doing this for real, I'd be using glue. That wouldn't be popping off like that. Okay. It's starting to look more like an armillary sphere, huh? Okay. So, I wish I didn't have to deal with the ecliptic right now. It's just in the way, but can't really get around it. Okay, so I want to start working my equator band into place. The equatorial ring. I've already run into something you really got to pay attention to here. You do not want the screw hole in your in your bleh, tropic band to line up with your equator hole. It should go lower screw hole over here, the equatorial hole, and then over here, the upper hole. So I've got two of these off. In fact, I got everything off. If we just rotate this one around, it'll work. And that's because these screw holes are going to be what attaches the ecliptic in place. Okay, so now it goes lower screw hole, middle screw hole, and up here I've got the upper screw hole. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's get some more uh, cloatures. Start working these guys in. If we can, without popping off all the other rings we put on.
The more you add, the more rigid it becomes, and the harder it becomes to get anything else in, but it starts to hold itself together. And our last cloture. works in. With a bit of persuasion. I think we're going to pop off our arctic ring here. Luckily there's a fair amount of give in the plastic so you can bend these pieces fairly well. Okay, so now we've got nine tenths of an armillary sphere done. Uh, the key thing now is that your plane of the ecliptic, your ecliptic band, the one that's Roman numeral six, should match up with the screw hole on whatever on the north side of your sphere. So we're gonna rotate him around. and make six match up with the Tropic of Cancer because in June the summer solstice comes in the sixth uh, in the northern hemisphere summer solstice comes in the month sixth month and then I'm going to match these guys up so that the ninth month crosses the equator in the 12th month it crosses the Tropic of Capricorn down south and everything here is kind of tight but once I get screws in place to hold everything exactly right it will make for a much better fit and better spin all right so there it is. Uh, once you've got this in place, you can go back and work your planet in through the top. I don't recommend trying this with a planet in place, or else it would be even more difficult. And then this will fit quite nicely into your horizon band. And once we've got everything done, Properly. This is meant to rotate here so you can choose the latitude that you want to do your calculations on. Uh, and then once we have it better put together, this will rotate inside of the meridian band. Um, kind of a long video. I'm sure that was rather dull to see, but probably good to understand the order of assembly or else you'll just get frustrated. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.